Hi, welcome to the Surefire booth. We appreciate you coming by to celebrate our 30 years of innovation this year. I'm gonna start off with the little guy over here. This is our LX1 Lumimax. Our LX1 is a takeoff of our E1B backup, compact tactical flashlight. What we're offering in the LX1 versus the backup is a fluted body design and a push through tail cap. Press halfway for low, press all the way for high. The backup has a clicky tail cap, comes on 80 lumens with the first click, five lumens with the second click. A little different design for somebody that's a little more tactically minded. Moving up, something Surefire has never done before is our E2L AA. We don't tend to like AA batteries, however, easily found just about anywhere in the world and very inexpensive. AA will start off on a low output as opposed to the backup or other tactical flashlights. More of a practical light, three lumens on low, 80 lumens on high. You get about 100 hours of runtime on the low end and about two to three hours on the high end depending on the grade of your battery. The M3 LT Combat Light is sort of the end all be all flashlights. Surefire spent a couple years working on this light. We're patenting the technology for a four die LED that gives you 400 lumens of light with an LED. It used to take six batteries to get an incandescent light to that level. We can do it with three and achieve a longer run time. What we can also do with an LED, we can get a low output and a high output in the same tail cap. No modes, no bulbs, no other switches. Bumping that up a notch is our UB3T Invictus. The Invictus has everything you could want in a flashlight and probably way more than you'd ever expect. With 11 settings, it is by far our most complex flashlight and it is a beast of a handheld flashlight. At 11 settings, you have strobe, your maximum output, obviously the fun ones. Dial it back down though through eight settings of light output all the way to your minimum. SOS should you get lost somewhere. If you want to shut it off, throw it in your pack, you got an off switch right there. Some things that are a little more practical this year than the Invictus are AZ2 Combat Light and our Z2S Combat Light. The AZ2 Combat Light is a derivative of our Aviator and Combat Grip lights. It has four LEDs for 35 lumens of low output floodlight and 150 lumen central white LED. Combat Light was originally conceived by Surefire in 1996, the same year that the Rogers Surefire Technique and the Surefire Institute were founded. We haven't neglected our past, and we're moving forward into the future with new innovations. The Z2S Combat Light is our first entry into the market with a strobe. Press and hold the third time to activate the strobe. 150 lumens of constant white output, if you accidentally slip and press it once, you gotta press it again, you get your constant output. We want it to be straightforward and purposeful when you wanna activate that strobe. No switches or buttons or clever handshakes to go through. One, two, three, simple as that. The S2 Stratum's an uptake on our 6P. Our 6P's been around since 1988 when we introduced the first tactical flashlight. Surefire is a tactical lighting company and we continue that tradition even to the more practical side with the Stratum. Stratum has three levels of output, however it comes on low, then medium, then high. Similar to the Z2 with the strobe where you click one, two, three, for low, medium, high to cycle through one, two, and three. Simple as that. The first Surefire product to have the Surefire name was actually a weapon light, not a flashlight as many people think. It goes back to 1986 when we did the first pistol mounted handgun light. Well now, we're moving forward with some of that innovation and bumping up some other old products such as our shotgun weapon lights. Our 618 LM2 shotgun light is a 200 lumen, two cell LED weapon light. We cut down the profile from the older model to clear slings and we also are offering a single cell version which is the LM1 for short barrel shotguns and a lower profile design. Any door kickers that want to put it on their breacher or anyone that just wants something compact and don't need a ton of light, this will still give you 100 lumens as opposed to the 200 for the LM2. Great all around lights. The Mini Scout is sort of our little baby here. We're very proud to be smaller, brighter, and better. Well, the Mini Scout is a 110 lumen pocket rocket of light. Great solution for a short barrel rifle where you're gonna lose real estate on your Picatinny. You still want that foregrip, 
and you don't want something sticking out in that muzzle blast, the Mini Scout is a great answer to that. Also keeping in the theme of getting shorter so we can preserve that, that real estate on your rail is our M20, or, or excuse me, our M720V Raid Series. The M720V is a takeoff of our existing Vampire Series. The Vampire Series is a white light and infrared LED in a single unit. Simply twist and click to switch. The Raid's unique because it also has a disable system, whereas our other Vampire Series are white and infrared only. When you switch over to white, you have four settings, your strobe, flashlight, medium, and high. If you're on strobe, medium, or high, and you're activating with a tail cap switch or a remote switch, your dome light works for a low light navigation. If you want to remove it from your weapon and use it as a flashlight, enter the flashlight mode. You'll get your high output simply by activating the dome switch. Infrared has three settings, a low, medium, and high. Very straightforward, very basic functionality, and a very complex and well thought out package. It looks similar to our X-Series platform, however, it's been articulated so that the battery pack will clear the rail if you want to change midfield. No more removing weapon lights from your rail to change the battery. Simple to do, simple to use. The Vampire and the Raid series all feature the Surefire's new M93 mount. It's a free-floating titanium cam. The titanium cam will help you self-adjust to an out-of-spec rail and it'll keep you from leveraging on a throw mount. Simply put it on, click, you're good to go. Take it off, push the button, you're good to go with the weapon light off. I appreciate you stopping by the Surefire booth. If you ever want to learn more, give us a call or check out surefire.com.